Welcome to the Tap and Barrel in Vancouver's Olympic Village, where the finest flavours of BC are served up in the glass and on the plate on the shores of False Creek. I'm Jan Zeschke of Brewed Awakening at theprovince.com slash beer, and I'm here to review another of BC's finest craft beers. Tap and Barrel calls itself a gastro tap house, where the quality of what comes out of the taps and what comes out of the kitchen are equally important. For the kitchen, that means using organic ingredients where possible and sourcing many ingredients locally. Similarly, all 24 taps of beer and 28 taps of wine are exclusively from BC, highlighting the quality and range of options that the province offers. Let's go check it out. All right, Ian, so uh, lastly, we're going to finish you off with uh, Central City IPA, quintessential West Coast IPA. Mm, okay, sounds great. So um, what, can, what more can you tell me about this beer? Not that well, I know it already, but... I think you should know it, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, it's a great representation of what we do out here in the West Coast mm -hmm. uh, and how we make our IPAs. Um, it's won numerous awards. Uh, it's definitely a staple on our list. It's always there and it always will be. And it should be on every bar list across BC. Most personally. definitely. It's, okay. def it's my fridge too. Great. Yes, and mine. <laughs> okay, let's get to it. Let's do it. Thanks so much, Peter. Thank you. Well, I'm delighted to be joined here by uh, the man who made this beer, this classic beer, Mr. Gary Lohan of uh, Central City Brewing. Great to see you, Gary. Cheers. Nice to see you. So why do you think this beer has become such a BC classic? Uh, IPA is, a, is probably, well, it's the biggest selling ale, uh, I guess, in, in category in uh, North America right now. Mm -hmm. um, I started brewing this even before Central City's days when there wasn't an IPA around. And uh, uh, I've tweaked recipes as we've come along with Central City with some newer hops and tried some new things. But uh, I keep, you know, I keep making the same beer. I know it's a strong beer, so I want, I'm not going to change the recipe at this point. Okay, yeah. okay. And people love it, obviously, because it must be one of your biggest sellers, right? It's uh, by far our flagship beer, by okay. far our biggest selling beer. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, let's see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, then. Let's, let's go. Take a, yeah. a take a whiff here. That smells amazing. Now there's all those big, bright uh, citrus, like big grapefruit notes there. So um, what's what's really behind those grapefruit notes? What's giving it um, that uh, that aroma? Well, it is. It's hops from Yakima. Ever since they've um, uh, started coming out with these hops, uh, it seems to be a trend now that every hop seems to be uh, on the citrus level of some sort. Mm -hmm. That seems consumers want it. I think brewers love it, and they want to use that in the beer. It, it, it marries with the malt really well, and it balances that uh, flavor of the malt and uh, um, it's very refreshing, very, mm -hmm. very refreshing. It is, yeah. it is. It's got a wonderful depth to it. And yeah. the, actually, it's for, a, for a really bitter beer, it's really well balanced. I mean, those, you really notice the malts in there just hold, really holding everything up. Um, was it always in your mind to make something that was very balanced, something that was quite accessible as well? Well, if you, you know, I've always been that way. I've always been a proponent of malt, and uh, I like to use malt to back, you know, back uh, my hops a bit, I have a bit of a malt backbone. And uh, I, you know, I am, I'm a brewer to style that way. I like mm -hmm. to have a little bit of balance, um, even punchy beers. So sure. um, you need to have that balance too. So uh, uh, that's what I've done in the past and I keep con I want to do that in the future. Yeah, awesome, absolutely. okay. Well, this is tasting as good as the day I first tried it. It's a sensational beer. So the Red Racer IPA at the Tap and Barrel Olympic Village. I'm Jan Zeschke of Brewed Awakening, theprovince.com slash beer. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers.